Hey guys, so today you're gonna watch me put together the REI Kingdom 3 cot and I'm gonna put it together and then fit it inside my Forerunner and you guys will see how that process goes. So the first thing I want to do is open up the cot. So I'm gonna look for the knobs on the side here. And I'm just gonna turn it counterclockwise to open it up. Flip it around counterclockwise to open up the little wheel, right? Then I'm gonna turn it and start to open it up. This is the feet end here. I'm gonna lock it out. Pull the legs forward. And then on the head end, I'm going to make sure it opens all the way. So now that the middle section is more or less straight, I'm going to take the dial knobs and turn them clockwise to lock it out. Then the next thing I want to do is to make sure the correct legs are folded out on each end. So looks like the feet end here is kind of collapsed. So I need to pull it out and let it swivel down the feet so that it is in the correct position. Now we're gonna ignore the middle legs because this is going to go into the truck and we're not gonna need the middle legs. We're going to manipulate the seats a little bit. Okay, we're gonna make sure all the seats are laying down the way it should. So, I already went ahead and took off the little headrests for the seats. I'm just gonna pull on this tab here, lift up the seats there, lift this up, let that roll forward. I have moved the front seat far enough so that this isn't gonna be in the way. And just right up here, there is a, uh, a release button release. I'm just going to press down. So we got our back seat laying down nicely there. So really this is the main part here to be, be able to get the cot inside. Okay. So let's go ahead and bring this cot in. Again, we want to do the bring the feet end in first, as I explained in my first video. So one way of doing it is I just pick up the whole thing by the center of the frame, kind of balance it on my head, and then And then with it kind of resting on my head and my arms, I'm just gonna advance it to the rear while getting the legs over the wheel well. See, that makes inserting it fairly easy. So I'm just gonna go down to the feet end and make sure everything is aligned. And all I did there was, I just pressed down the feet in and boom, we have our cot, people. Nice. All right, so it's definitely on there. So let me give it a test.
just like how I remembered it. Perfect. But there are a couple of things that I'm going to do to it this time that I did not do last time. Check it out. So in the last video, I had mentioned that there was a bit of a downward slope towards the head. So you're kind of, your head is, your feet's kind of elevated while you're sleeping and your head's a little further down. There's this built-in cushion that kind of pops your head up, right? But better yet, what we can do is we can raise the legs on this cot. So you see this? Boom, there's a switch here and there's a switch here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna raise it just a couple of inches to even out the cot. And then we're gonna lock it down. Same thing to the other side, raise it up, lock it down. And I don't know if you can tell, but it's much more level up top. And that's gonna be a lot more comfortable. One other modification that we're gonna do to this is, you remember that you see that little bar running across the center there? The one where I said when you kind of sag down on the cot, your hip kind of touches the bar. Well, I'm going to try out a solution for that. And the solution is this. It's one of those little pool noodles that you find at the dollar store. Basically, um, I have a little bit of material left over. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a little slit in it and then I'm gonna run it across the bar with this little foam noodle if I do sag down on the cot I won't be feeling that metal bar instead I will be feeling this foam instead so let's go ahead and get in there and uh, get it inserted I'm just going to boom like a glove almost. Oh my gosh. It fits perfectly. So now when I lay down on this guy, my hip touches, it's going to touch that instead of the bar nice and in addition to having the cot more elevated and there being a foam noodle across the waist i'm also adding this additional foam sleeping pad on top of it so Let's go ahead and lay it across the top of the cot. It should fit the entire length. And the reason why I went with this foam pad as opposed to a blow up one, which I used when I was camping in Yosemite and Crater Lake and so on. Oh my gosh, it fits like a glove, guys. So, yep, this is the head end and it covers all the way down to the feet end. So the reason why I decided to use this is for additional comfort. I don't care too much about warmth at night. I can always layer up and that will give me all the warmth that I need. And I also have other electronic heat generating devices. This is nice because it doesn't slide around like the inflatable one. The material of my sleeping bag made it kind of slippery and it slid around a lot so like this my previous blow up sleeping pad would uh, be sideways in the morning when I would wake up and I'd always have to adjust it in the middle of the night and that was kind of annoying uh, when I wanted to shift around but one this shouldn't slide around nearly as much it's made out of foam so it kind of tractions a bit better number two there's no way for it to get punctured or deflate. And that unfortunately happened to me. I kept having to blow it up uh, before going to bed every night and by morning it would be flat. So it completely defeated the purpose of that. And um, three, it provides a, an additional layer of cushion in between the cot and maybe the bar down below. So I'm even less likely to feel 
uh, myself sag onto that bar. Um, so it's to increase overall comfort. So um, yeah, sleeping bag is going to go nicely on top of this. Uh, and it fits the entire length of the cot. And if you want, you can pull it out to wherever you're camping to do yoga on. You can stretch on it. You can just sit crisscross applesauce if you want um, or allow some friends to sit with you. And uh, yeah, it's quite versatile and you can just scrub it down, wash it and let it air dry. So plenty of uses for it as well. And this time around on this trip, I wanna make sure I'm comfortable. So there you have it folks, some additional changes to my sleeping setup. You'll see the complete setup uh, once I bring it out to the Alvord Desert. Um, but this is it, elevated legs to level out the cot, a new sleeping pad, and a foam noodle across the waist bar down below. Anyway guys, if you like this video, go ahead and give me a big thumbs up and I'll show you my setup once I reach the desert.